Hey guys, welcome back to the AM Crypto channel, your trusted source for your Bitcoin updates. So um, Bitcoin is moving here in really strange ways, but I found something really interesting in the charts that could be uh, igniting a massive, massive move for Bitcoin. And if you want to find out what that move is, then definitely stick around until the end of the video and make sure that you smash up the like button and subscribe to the channel to and also activate the notification bell so that you never miss out on these really important updates, especially on days like this. And now let's get here straight into the chart. So first of all, I want to show you something on the four hourly chart. Here on the four hourly chart, we have seen, um, as I told you a couple of days ago already, that we had here this rising wedge and it broke actually down exactly as I predicted. And we also hit the target of this rising wedge. Um, also exactly as I predicted it. Um, that target was hit yesterday. So and Afterwards, we dropped lower, also as I expected. I told you uh, Bitcoin will not stop to drop if we break $20,240. So, and uh, we actually got really, really close to the 1.618 and the 1.65, the golden ratio here. Uh, we got really close, but got bought up uh, a little bit earlier, all the way here at 18,560 approximately. And so then, then here, um, a small bounce back to the upside, all the way up to 20, almost $21,000. So, but they got heavily rejected and slammed down back to the downside. So why did, did we get so heavily rejected there? I want to show you, uh, show this really quick guys before I, uh, I move on here. So when you look here along this line, so what can we see? We see when Bitcoin came down here, that this line was a massive support. Also here, still massive support, support, then we broke it, we came back up and tried to maintain, uh, to stay above it, could not manage to stay there. Then we had here this other rising wedge, here we managed for a while to stay above that level, but eventually also got then rejected here on the next resistance and that brought us all the way um yeah way lower than the twenty thousand eight hundred and eighty dollar level so and that has shown because it was previously a uh, support and resistance and then again support all the way back here um that this was becoming a really really strong resistance level so and how strong that resistance level was um could we experience yesterday with this massive wick here where we immediately after this pump went all the way back down and are now heading here again lower so also here on the stochastic rsi we have again a clear sell signal so that's also indicating that we are potentially still in for lower price targets and we could still hit this uh, 1.618 but i would not open shorts just yet guys because uh, we have to take in consideration uh, some other factors that are playing out here um, and why I believe that we could be really, really close also to the bottom. So for this, I will go to this chart here. Here's the monthly chart. So and when you look here at the biggest drawdowns that we had in, in Bitcoin history, uh, what we can see here is that in 2017, uh, we had a drawdown of 40, uh, almost 43 percent. Then here at the uh, top, we had a drawdown of 47 percent. Then on, uh, on the way, more down 44 percent, 45, uh, almost 46 percent here. Um, and then here with the Corona crash, um, almost 60 percent, then again 50 percent. Now, last month, we were already down 45 percent. So when we look here now um, at the previous um, drops that we had, uh, in that kind of region. So what we can observe is that most of the time we uh, we got then either a small move here back to the upside. So also here, move back to the upside. Here, uh, move back to the upside, move back to the upside. Here also, move back to the upside. So it could be that this month, this monthly candle could actually come up here all the way to around $26,000, $27,000 ish. And from there, we will actually see then um, a gradual move back to the upside. So this possibility is on the table right now. If we look here 
on historical data how Bitcoin was behaving after these massive drops here. Another indication for that is also here the stochastic RSI is heavily oversold. Um, already since February, already for four months. So it's a really, really long time. So and it looks like that this month we want to get a buy signal here on a stochastic RSI. So it means either this month or next month we will finally see here another green uh, candle here on the monthly chart. So and that will be then also um, then the indication that we potentially have hit the bottom for a Bitcoin and would align with my um, projection that I have that around September we will see there the start of the next um, bigger move for Bitcoin into new highs here. So until the end of the year. And now, now we get to what I wanted to show you. Um, and that is here on the one hourly chart. We have uh, on the one hourly chart here a broadening falling wedge. So and when we look at the textbook, uh, a, broad, a broadening falling wedge at some point is breaking to the upside. So we can say that this here was a fake out for now. So but the next time when we see the price getting close to the downward sloping resistance line, we should see here a, um, a volume accompanied breakout. So something like we saw yesterday here. Remember, guys, I told you I was waiting for um, on the daily chart for a volume candle, something like this. Here we are on the one hourly chart, but on the daily chart, I wait for a volume candle like this to enter a new long position. So and um, I'm still waiting here. I might potentially open a long position once we are breaking here out once again out of this broadening falling wedge. So and um, that might be then also already a bigger position uh, because that could be potentially already the turning point. So and where will I trade this? So I will go to Bybit. So here on Bybit uh, there you still get with my link $4,500 in uh, free bonuses if you use my specific link here. So you can also still take uh, part in the trading competition of a Bybit. Um, so if you take part in this, you have the chance also to win daily uh, different raffles that are there. So like I said the other day, Bored Apes, uh, Clone X, NFTs and all these kind of high value blue chip NFTs and also price money is giving out on daily base um, just by participating in this competition here on a Bybit. So and if you don't like a Bybit, then I recommend you, you can go to BitGet that you still get $4,163 in free bonuses and 15% discount on the fees. Also only with my specific link here. So now let's get back here quick to the uh, daily chart. So when we are looking here on the daily chart, what if we have here a lower low and here a higher low and here is then the turning point to go higher. So that possibility is also on the table. So for this scenario, if we treat this as a W pattern, the neckline would be somewhat be something like around the $22,000 level. So and that is also a scenario where I keep my eyes on for the time being. So but the stochastic RSI is printing a different story. So we could also still head lower. So but anyway, this pattern is not valid unless we are breaking above the neckline and um, yeah, see a volume accompanied uh, move then into higher levels. Uh, otherwise, uh, this is just um, yeah an idea for now, a trading idea that could potentially work out. So but what is not a trading idea is my uh, paid signals channels, guys. There we are still smashing it. Last month we made 1546%. So if you invested, let's say, um, $1,000 in my trade signals, you would be up $15,000, which is absolutely insane. If you want to be part of this group, also here, click this link there, you get directly in touch with my staff, they will explain you everything or join the free telegram group there. I'm also sharing most of my personal trades that I'm taking, which are also uh, most of the time profitable. Um, yeah, and then you can take these gains to actually pay then for uh, the paid signals where we send every day multiple signals which are um, obviously highly profitable if you have these kind of returns. Guys, that's it already for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, let me know in the comments and also smash up the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell and I'll see you again tomorrow.